Hello and welcome back. I hope you guys are having a wonderful afternoon. So this afternoon, we are going to play with Flair 58. Okay, Flair 58 with, so this one is the regular Flair 58, comes with a elect, uh, kind of like electric element, okay? So keep it hot, okay? So you can actually warm up the, the group head. So it's been about eight minutes now. Okay, I've been timing it. And um, I have to say, gonna, you know, hold on a second. I'm gonna check the, the temperature on the group hair right now. It's been about eight minutes. Now you guys hear the beep noise, which means this is ready to go. Uh, group hair temperature, 225 Fahrenheit. That's pretty warm, right? So what I'm gonna do is, okay, I'm breaking pretty much every rules about making espresso this afternoon. I'm using the coffee from Kuma. This is a wash. Ethio actually, this is actually natural process Ethiopia coffee from Kuma. But this is a, the roast date, April 4th. So this is about four month old coffee. Okay, so this is pretty old. And I'm going to be uh, grinding coffee with my EK43. It's not the regular bird. So this is the uh, made for the filter coffee okay so it's the the geometric is 98 millimeter pre-2015 so this is, bird is known for you know like pour over like drip coffee they're amazing with that but you know what I'm going to use for my espresso as well because it's gonna be give us give me a lot more kind of like a lot more fine to it more fines which means more body I cannot wait it should be I have no idea what to expect, all right? And what else? Uh, pretty much it, okay? I got, I, mean, I got some setup here. Let me explain to you what I have. And I think this is all ready to go. So let's make some coffee. Okay, here we go, folks. Let's make some good coffee this afternoon. I don't know about good coffee, but we are going to make some coffee. Again, I already measured out 18 grams. My grind size just above one clicks on EK forty three. So water I set at boiling temperature at hundred Celsius there. Okay, here I go. My coffee grind is ready. Okay, I'm just going. It's pretty hot, by the way. So let's do some little bit of puck prep. I'm using the San Anthony Industry, uh, the block here. As we can see, it's a lot of clumps there, right? So I'm gonna be using my, this kind of like 3D tools I got from Fed, if you are watching. So this is a 3D print. I'm just gonna go like this. 3D WDT tools. I'm just gonna spin a few times. So check this out. Now everything is nicely declump. Quick tap. I'm just gonna go do some, you know, nice distribution there. This is a pretty fine grind size, folks. Goodness, it's pretty fine. I'm gonna finish it up with force temper. Okay. Well, it looks pretty good. Last. I'm gonna put the puck screen. So if you're using 58, they, you have to use the puck screen. I'm just gonna, you know what? Yeah, it's okay. Here's what I'm gonna do. I think I forgot to flush it. So I'm just gonna heat up here. Hold on a second. I'm gonna use my other pour filter.
I'm just going to do a quick flush. You hear the sizzling noise? I'm just going to go quick flush there. There we go. Okay, I'm just going to heat up my shot glass as well. I think we are ready. Okay, I'm just going to lock it in my portafilter. filter. <laughs> okay, hopefully I'm just going to get the right viewer angle. Okay, I'm going to start with I'm going to push, push all the way down. So, so that's my initial starting point. And then I'm going to introduce water right now. Boiling hot water. So you guys can hear the noise. This is sizzling. Okay. Just gonna put the top it up. Okay. And I wonder I can do one hand on this one guys so I can show you guys the better view here. Okay, I'm just going to start with pre-infusion right now. Copper bar pressure. And this point I'm just going to go for 9 bar. Looks pretty good there. I'm just going to go easy into it. Forty-five gram. After that, I'm just simply lift up, stop the brewing. Okay. And then what I like to do is, uh, if you watch the video, how to do it, just get another cup. Uh, perch the rest of the coffee. Just perch. That's it. So get all the water out. So this is a lighter roast. Okay, so this is a lighter roast there. So, okay. I'm just gonna shut the power off here since we are done. Usually it takes about a few, uh, about, about eight minutes. Still has a very nice crema. Not bad for four months old coffee, folks. Okay. Not bad for four months old coffee. Uh, comes to tasting notes. Okay. So tasting notes going to be uh, passion fruit. What else? Tangerine, passion fruit, and vanilla simple syrup. Okay, vanilla simple syrup. So it's going to be sweet, tangy. And the passion fruit has a great the floor. Uh, smell as well. I'm just gonna Man, definitely I can smell the Goodness Passion fruit Simple syrup. I think I uh, hopefully I can taste that again. So this is about four months old But uh, using that 98 millimeter the EK 43 bird. So hopefully I can kind of like Resurrect it. Okay, do some resurrect it uh, comes to flavor wise here you go. Cheers, guys. Wow. Not bad for four months old, guy. Four months old coffee. Passion fruit. I can definitely taste it. Uh, the finishing note is the tangerine. What else? Sweet. Yep. I have to say, I'm pretty impressed with this coffee. Okay, 
fact is uh, four months old I felt like to bring out the, all the great tasting note as well and especially with the lever machine you can actually control the flow too so I mean that's the great thing about the lever machine so man not bad okay, I have to say pretty good pretty good there. I'm gonna shout out to all of my friends at live chat we have Jonathan we have a Veronica is a Veronica Linda we have a friends from Iran I think it's Iran I think uh, Abraham I, I hope I'm saying it right we got Matt is also on you got young Ma, Joe shout out to Ender you got Paul as well let's see here let's see who else I think yeah I think we got everybody everybody and also we have a 20 other 23 other people watching right now so I'm glad you guys are here this afternoon and again by the way if you have flare 50 at home please let me know okay you, do you like it or yeah I would love to hear your thoughts on it because I know a lot of people thinking about getting one you already have one yeah let me know okay hold on uh, uh, Matt asked do you recommend flare flare to the death flow control recommend oh, the flow control recommend the flare to the to that with the flow control I mean comes to flow control wise again I mean you can actually control the how much you, you know you apply the pressure so if you have very you know again there comes the grinder setting if your grind is too fine instead of going really hard just go easy into it and so which means you, you know you're never gonna have a bad shot okay I mean if you mess up the grinder setting you can actually save the shot we have a Jimmy Jamie let's see here Jamie say from the from what grinder you use at, at home you're like, okay which grinder okay so this is the grinder from the EK 43 okay okay I'm gonna shout out to Joe from espresso outlet uh, loading us that machine <clears throat> anyway so we have the P a uh, DF 64s here right now so we are, I'm planning on doing some comparison coming up soon okay and also I cannot wait to install uh, it's called Gorilla Gear okay Gorilla Gear has uh, this black burst so it's gonna be a lot of fun okay, I cannot wait to put these birds on make some coffee out of it anyway I hope you guys are having a wonderful afternoon again uh, let me know if you have a FLIR 58 at home I'd well, love to uh, hear your thoughts about it. Okay, I think we are pretty good. All right, yeah, folks, I'm going to see you guys next time.